So Sam and Joe, you're both electronic engineers at UCL? Yeah. And your second year? Uh, yeah, second year going into third year. Brilliant. Okay, so tell me more about the project that you're doing this summer. Right, so what we have here is a, um, this is a robot that um, we were given sometime in the year. And it sort of drives around, you can control it with your phone. Um, you can sort of make it go around, you can make it play a few tunes, it's quite cool. Yeah. Basically what we're doing, um, as you can see by the sort of the paper board on top, which is what we've designed, it will be a bit more than paper eventually, is, um, is a board that we've made, um, which basically allows it not only to connect to the phone uh, via Bluetooth, because yeah. um, the thing about Bluetooth is you can only connect to one device at a time, but the idea is to have them connect to each other and eventually to um, a gateway which will allow them to upload everything to the internet as well. So you can have sort of like a swarm of these things going around being controlled by some sort of internet application. So in terms of jobs, what have you had to do? Um, it's also, I mean, just to touch on it a little bit more, it's, um, it's also an introduction into Internet of Things. So what we're trying to do is to upgrade the robot to uh, have more sensors. Um, my portion of it is mainly to do with the hardware. So I'm trying to upgrade it with different sensors, uh, say gyroscopic sensors and proximity sensors to know its environment. Whereas Sam will actually be working on the algorithms to actually identify locations and make the robot learn basically like a simple AI. Okay, very nice. So some people, when they hear engineering, they immediately picture oily machines or big construction sites and they're put off by that. What would you what would you say to that? Do you think it is that situation or I think they're completely wrong. I think engineering in its sort of uh, pure sense is about ingenuity. I think there's a very fundamental thing about people that wants uh, wants to create, that wants to sort of see their ideas come to come to uh, to life, uh, which is all about engineering. Um, that is what engineering is about, um, and that extends over many disciplines. Really, the whole sort of oily thing. I mean, you're talking about one aspect of one part of engineering is a tiny, tiny, um, tiny bit that really has sort of become sort of the face of engineering in years gone by. You see, we didn't do things in a particularly clean way with sort of like oily machines and the industrial revolution. I mean, that hasn't been true of the last 50 years. Really, we've been, we've been doing quite cool high-tech stuff. And, um, yeah. I mean, I mean, equally. So your your projects obviously involve lots of software. Uh, the Internet of Things you mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do much coding for this project? Um, we haven't done much coding, we haven't entered into that portion yet, but eventually we will be, so okay, the, the platform is going to be quite We're quite early in the project at the moment, we're developing the hardware, which is going to be the platform for us to build the coding for it. So you've got, I mean the good thing about engineering is you can mix your disciplines, you've got your actual hardware design, you've got the actual chassis of the robot, you can do anything you like with that, and you've got the coding stuff, you've got the computer science, and, all, and it all seamlessly integrates together. Okay, brilliant. So Joe, you're in second year yep. of your course. How have you found your educational engineering so far? Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, actually prior to my university education, I was doing something similar to engineering. I mean, aerospace, electronics and stuff. Uh, okay. So all along, it's been a really interesting experience, you know, seeing how different forms of engineering can integrate with each other. Okay, brilliant. And being in the UK is just more than a big exposure to the market and how um, looking at how they actually handle different forms of engineering. engineering You're similar, Sam? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 What, what, what's the sort of the most uh, beneficial skill you've taken out of your engineering career? Um, I think it's got to be, I mean, you learn so many sort of like specific skills in your course, but I think really it's about how to think like an engineer. It's about, um, it goes back to what engineering is all about, it goes back to thinking of an idea and being like, oh, actually, I know how to break this down mm. into something I can solve. And I think, um, I think it partly it's down to confidence in your own abilities, but it's definitely something that engineering courses uh, install within you. And they really do sort of give you that, that sense of, I can do this. Okay, brilliant. So, each of you, if you had a bit of advice for someone interested in uh, en pursuing a career in engineering, what would be your advice? Joe first? Um, I mean, personally, I enjoy engineering because of the science and the math, but it also gives me the opportunity to actually think creatively. I think if you really want to know more about engineering or, or get into that field, um, take your own time to just really do something or just try anything. Like um, 
make your own circuit or do your own programming skills because these skills are not exactly um, they're more practical skills that you pick up along the way and it really helps you a lot in understanding the theory um, and application of engineering yeah, so just go go out and do whatever you want to do okay brilliant yeah. okay thank you yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely go for it. Um, you're talking about something where the sky really is the limit. If you've got any sort of imagination or any sense of creativity at all, and uh, you're reasonably good at sort of breaking down things, understanding things, and you want to get better, then absolutely go for it. Brilliant, okay, thank you very much for giving us your time. Good luck with it all. Cheers. All right.